Hey there y'all, Vince Horn here, Buddhist Geeks. I uh, just wanted to share a little gardening update, um, share a little bit about what's going on in our house, uh, which is kind of the prototype right now for the Buddhist Geeks farm. It's where we do our contemplative homesteading practice. And um, here I'm starting inside um, in our little, in my office area here, and showing you a bit about what's growing uh, under the grow lights. So uh, I've got some lettuce up top that's getting ready to be transplanted over into a raised bed outside to one of our smart pot raised beds. Um, this is really looking nice, especially the red cabbage side. Um, some of these have not fared so well uh, or have hardened very well, uh, while these, many of them being the same style of uh, lettuce, have done really well. So um, they've hardened better. I think I've done a little bit better job of putting them in the sun for the right amount of time, um, just learning how to do this. And then uh, here are some collards uh, sprouts and some kale sprouts and trying to work on getting them um, to grow a little bit better. This is my second go around with these. And, you know, um, just working on thinning them out properly and keeping them watered and getting them out of right amount of light. Um, that's kind of the big name of the game right now. So. Um, yeah, working on that, try not to kill everything, which sometimes, you know, there you go, killed something, happens. <laughs> and uh, let me bring you outside now, share, share, share what we're doing outside, because this is sort of where everything begins for us, you know, starting some uh, seedlings uh, that get ready to be transplanted outside. Um, but then actually going outside, you're going to see here our first raised bed, which we're using smart pots for everything, a certain kind of fabric called smart pot. It's a breathable fabric, so the root structure of the plants can actually do what's called air pruning. And this is helpful for the plant because it can take in more nutrients and so forth. Um, so we're using these, these smart pot raised beds because also they're affordable and currently we're renting this house and we don't want to build anything. So it's an easy way for us to prototype and test uh, at our gardening. And here you'll see we've just got started to put some soil in this. This is going to be, this is eight foot long, eight feet, and uh, roughly a hundred gallons of dirt will go in here uh, and soil. So we just started that process. I've got a little bit more work to do around the landscaping here and um, kind of cleaning things up and putting a little bit of uh, protective covering underneath. And then let's go upstairs. Um, so up this little walkway here to, to our driveway and porch. And this is where the rest of our gardening is happening. And I'll start here with this first big smart pot bed. This is where the lettuce is gonna go that I shared with you. Just for the lettuce. And then we've got, ah, Spinach, this is our first plant. And really spinach is hardy and does well in the cold. And it's great for early spring planting here where we are. So I loved, uh, love planting spinach. This is uh, planted directly from seed. So meaning I just took the seeds and put them right in the, in the dirt. And um, they have done really well this way. And we just went through a massive storm actually. It was like, um, you know, we had one to two inches of rain, serious wind, and they did great. They weathered it just fine. Um, next to the spinach, let's see, we've got some onions. This is our onion uh, pot, and it's got uh, all these sort of bunching onions in these different places. These are particular kind of onions that like to grow together. They bunch. They're like scallions, kind of, the way they look. And then you've got along the periphery here, I've planted another kind of onion. These are bulb onions. And I'm gonna thin those out and have some bulbs growing on the outside and some bunched onions in the center. And this is a strategy that I found from a, a, a YouTube uh, personality. Uh, I believe it was self-sufficient me. And uh, they were suggesting this as a way to, to plant onions. And so we're trying it. And in the other two pots, we've got all collard seeds because we love collards and uh, Emily loves to cook them. Part of her, part of her heritage uh, coming up in the South. 
and uh, an amazing food from from Africa. Great, delicious greens. So we're growing as much of those as we can. And um, you know, what else is there to say? Uh, well, we've got a little bit more soil and we've got more gear, got a new wheelbarrow. Really, I can't stress enough what a noob I am at this in some ways. Um, for me, this is a new practice. But at the same time, I grew up with this. You know, I grew up around uh, in, a, in a garden and around a farm, and it's also something that's in my, it's in my blood and bones. And, uh, you know, it's in all of our blood and bones, I think. Like, we ultimately all come from farmers, people that were raising food and trying to survive. So for me, it's, this is a great practice of getting back to, to the roots, so to speak.